Hey, I'm the once again, so welcome back to my channel. Again, so ito na po tayo. Another topic, and that is rational equation. So, ito, when you say rational equation, so this will be, equi or these are equations where we're in, we have one or more rational expressions. So, most probably, mga fractions, ayan. So, tingnan natin paano po yung mga gagawin natin pag may mga ganyan. So, basically, rational equations can be solved by looking for the LCD. So, for this example, we have x over 3 plus 1 half is equal to 4. We need to look for the LCD. Ano po kaya ang LCD niyan? 6. Very good. Okay. So, with this, we need to multiply all the terms in of the equation by 6. So, pag dinistribute na natin siya, don't forget, sa lahat po ah, so that is 6x over 3 plus 6 over 2 equal to what is 6 times 4? 24. And then, the next thing to do is to simplify. What is 6x over 3? 2x, very good. How about 6 over 2? 3, ayan. And then equal to 24. Now, pagsama-samahin ang pare-pareho. Meron pa po bang ibang variable dyan maliban kay 2x, variable term? Wala na. So, let's have all the variables on the left side kasi mas nasanay na tayo ito. So, we'll have 2x equal to 24. And then, we transfer 3 to the other side. So, instead of writing positive 3, that will be minus 3. Then, 2x will be 21. Very good. Because we hindi pa tayo goal achieved. Kailangan x is alone on one side, walang kasama, walang katabi. So, we need to divide both sides by 2. x is therefore, my lowest term pa po ba ang 21 over 2? Wala na po. So, that is 21 over 2. Okay? O, paano kaya ito? Try naman natin kapag may variable at saka merong number lang. So, paano po yan? So, we just need to copy them. Since x lang naman po yan, kapag magkaiba, copy lang po natin. So, that is the LCD to be 4x. Very cool. So, distribute na natin siya sa lahat ng terms. So, that is 28x over x plus 4x over 4 equals 36x over x. Again, if we are distributing, we are multiplying. Very good. Simplify. This is 28. How about this? x lang po, sir. Very good. Equal to 36. O, oh, iwan na lang natin si x sa isang side, lipat, sino? Si 28, magiging minus 28. x is therefore equal to 8. Goal achieved na ba tayo? Mag-isa na ba si x? Walang kasama, walang katabi at positive? Yes po. So, that will be your final answer. Very good. Uh, ano pong magiging next natin dyan? So, the next one is... Ay, ano, paano yan, sir? At binomial na pwede namin later natin dyan. O, di ba sa LCD lang naman natin, kapag pareho po sila, just copy one. So, ano magiging LCD natin? X plus 1. Very good. So, multiply X plus 1 to the whole quantity given. And that is oh, X plus 1. This is the whole quantity of X plus 2. All over X plus 1 equal to oh, 3x and then x plus 1 all over x plus 1. So, before we distribute, try na natin cancel kasi nakapaano naman sila. May group naman yan. May maka-cancel out po ba? Yes. Cancel out x plus 1 here. x plus 1 here. So, simply, what remains is x plus 2 equal to 3x. O, oh, pag samasamahin na pare-pareho. Dalawa na ba yung variable terms natin? Yes po, sir. Okay. So, x, 3x, dipat, magiging minus 3x. 
Si 2 nilipat ko din, magiging negative 2. x minus 3x is negative 2x equal to negative 2. Anong i-divide sa magkabilang sign? Negative 2. Very good. Therefore, x is equal to 1. Again, goal achieved na. Very good po tayo. Okay. O, eto. Paano po hala, sir? Hirap naman yan. Magkaiba po yung denominator. Pag magkaiba, better. Ang gawin lang natin as simple as just copy. So, ano po ang ibig sabihin nun? I have 5 and also the x plus 1. Then, distribute muna siya. So, that will give us 3 times 5 times x plus 1 all over x plus 1 equal to 2 times 5 times x plus 1 all over 5. Ano sabi ni sir? Mag-cancel na kung tayo para hindi tayo may rapon sa distribution. Then what remains is 3 times 5 to 2 times the quantity of x plus 1. Distribute. So this is 15. That one is 2x plus 2. Or the path will have negative 2x is equal to 2 minus 15. And 2 minus 15 is negative 13. Very good. Then divide both sides by negative 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2. Oh, it's a fraction 4. This is also representation of division. If you have two negatives, so that will be positive. May lowest term pa po ba ang 13 over 2? Wala na. So, that will be your final answer. Very good. Oh, ito last. Let's see. Parang hirap naman po yan, sir. Hindi <laughs> po yan. Never give up. Okay? So, first, we need to have the x squared minus 4. Punin muna natin ang factors niya. Ano ang factors ng x squared minus 4? x plus 2 and x minus 2. Very good. So, cancel out muna to. Well, factor out muna siya. O, tingnan mo. Meron po bang magkapareho sa kanila? Meron po, sir. So, kung ano yung magkapareho, kopihin natin ang isang beses. Meron kang x plus 2. Meron pa ba? x minus 2. Wala nang natira? Wala na. So, still, copy na lang po. Yan na lang po yung meron tayo. Distribute. 8 times the quantity of x plus 2 and x minus 2. All over x plus 2 and x minus 2. Plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 2 and x minus 2. All over x plus 2. Equal to 5 times the quantity of x plus 2 and x minus 2. All over x minus 2. Oh. Cancel para hindi tayo mahirapan. So, x plus 2, x minus 2. Naiwan dito, 8 na lang. Sa kabila, 3 times x minus 2. Dito, 5 and x plus 2. And then, do the distribution. So, we'll have 8 plus 3x minus 6 equal to 5x plus 10. O, pag sumasamahin natin. Ayan, very cool. Plus 6 minus 8. So, negative 2x is equal to 8. Divide both sides by negative 2. x is negative 4. Very cool. So, this is the rational or how to solve rational equations. First is the LCD. Distribute, simplify, and do the solving of equations. Congratulations, or do your best. Oh, yeah, apply again sa problem solving, huh?